But anyway, anyway, on with the Super Mystery Dungeon. I just realized my hair is still tied back. Oh well. But yeah, let's uh, let's uh, continue. And how's it going today, Haunt, by the way? I haven't asked that yet. And speaking of tomorrow, what's going on tomorrow? Also, hey, my D key works. Oh, but it's... Oh. I mean, I can just use those, but... Uh, why does the D key do this? I mean, I can just use these buttons instead, but... It's weird. Well, I guess if I'm running, D doesn't make any difference, but... It's gotta be something with the emulator. I guess he's going to Spear tomorrow and it's going well. That's good to hear. So you're going to Spear tomorrow then? Or guess who's going to Spear tomorrow? It's me! It's me, I'm going to Spear tomorrow. That's the answer. Morning, Harmonia. I'm going to go on ahead to school today. I wouldn't want to irritate you by insisting we always go together. So, see you later, Harmonia. Seems like Cynthia's still hung up on what we were talking about yesterday. I guess. I just have to make my own way to school then. Also, this is my new keyboard. Like, there's still sounds, obviously. It wouldn't be completely silent, but... It's, like, quiet. It's, like, nice and quiet. My old keyboard. I don't know what to do with it right now. I just put it back here for now. It is now tangled in my backpack. But my old keyboard here. This was a noisy one. I got, that's a noisy keyboard right there. Wham! That was sketchy. Uh, and then there's a new keyboard. Except the emulator has something weird with a D key. But yeah, I picked up this keyboard for like 20 bucks at Memory Express. I'm pretty, pretty happy with my keyboard. It's so quiet. It's so nice. I like it. Like there's nothing wrong with that keyboard apart from the fact that it's loud. Oh my, it needs to get the speed right. There we go. Now the speed's right. Sometimes emulator does that. Start out like 80% speed, but then it, it figured it out. But yeah, and like you said, the videos you made today are quality. Nice and happy about those. Just very happy right now. It's good to hear. So much happiness is occurring. And is this new keyboard a glowing one? No, it's not. And hello, Harmony. How's it going? It's going mighty fine, Josh Dadal. How go things? I'm pretty happy about this new keyboard I got. Like, I did get a gaming keyboard. I don't really know much of what the point of those is or what the big difference is. No, I just picked up like a 20. Oh, I can't even pull the cord out. Ah, uh, there we go. I just picked up like a $20 Microsoft keyboard thing. No, my keyboard does not glow, but my computer does. And my mouse does, my mouse glows, but my keyboard doesn't. I don't really need my keyboard to glow. I just need to be able to use it. So yeah. <laughs> you absolute disgrace. This keyboard's like a hundred bucks. Ah, oh, stupid D key. I mean, I can just use TFGH, which I have set to the D-pad for the game. But yeah, <laughs> this is called comedy. Please, no offense. Hey, pretty good. That's good to hear, Josh Adel. That's mucho bueno. I think I may be a bit late. Huh? Huh? Is that... Cynthia? <laughs> Do I keep doing the... The Cyrus voice, is that what I do for Pancha here? <laughs> Did you hear that, Shelbert? The one here seriously wants to join the Expedition Society right now. And then the Therion voice for Shelmet. I know, it's too funny. They don't let kids into the Expedition Society. Duh. Don't you know that? I know. But maybe I can do it if I try. That's what I believe. Maybe you can? You believe? Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's so dumb. Those voices. What's so funny about that, huh? What's so... Come on. Everyone knows that it'd be impossible for a kid. And even if I weren't, there's no way you could get in. You're not even that good at exploring dungeons, are you? Ugh. Look at the stunt you pulled yesterday. I mean, maybe someone like Esper. She's at least got some real skills. But you... Ah, ha, ha. Or Cynthia. Ding dong, it's the Wraith! Alright, class is now in session. Everyone to your seats. Thanks for those, Subway Foot Long. It's your boy, Rai Cheese. I d do not understand, I'm sorry. Uh, 
Cynthia? What is it? Do you not hear me say? Mumble, mumble, traps are gay. No. Doesn't matter what they say. I can do it. Yeah, definitely going to it. To do it. I won't ever give up. I'm going to achieve my dreams. I'll do it, and I'll show them all. Cynthia? Ah. Uh, what are you shouting about now? You have no as a class has begun, hmm? Ha, ha, ha. What's this? Are you alright, child? You're beginning to worry me. I know, for the first time. Sorry, Mr. Farfetched. I've just got some things on my mind. I don't know if it's like a remix version of the partner's theme here. Yeah, I can't let myself get down. I won't lose heart. Ugh, silly Cynthia never knows what to give up. Well, I suppose that's alright then. In that case, let's begin another fun day of class. Yes, sir. But yeah, please no bad. <laughs> the voices are amazing. I, it's hard to not laugh when I'm doing them and I'm looking at the characters I'm doing those voices for. By the time third period rolled around, some kink of stuff was happening. What, what was my voice for Watchdog again? Third period is beginning now. Today will be another dungeon outing. I, your illustrious Vice Principal Watchhog, will be leading this special class. Be sure that you obey my every direction without fail. Especially you there. Huh? Me? That's right. You, Cynthia. Once a troublemaker, always a troublemaker. That's what I say. So no trouble out of you today. You got that? Now, let me divide you up into teams. The first team will be... Drum roll, drum roll please. Honorable Mr. Watchhog Super Team! <laughs> Team members will be Esper, Deerling, and Harmonia. Let's do our best together, Esper and Harmonia. Just what I was thinking. The, the next team, drum roll if you please. Vice Principal Watchhog, excellent team! In this team, we have Pancham, Gumi, and Cynthia. Shelmut will sit out on today's exploration and simply observe. Next, as usual, I will be taking custody of any and all items you may be carrying. Your items will be placed securely in a deposit box and returned to you later. Would each team select a representative to come up and get your item box? Esper, can you do that? No problem. I'll go get ours. No way! I'm going! No, I called it first. Why don't you get out of my face? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> hey, break it up, you two! Did I just warn you, troublemaker? My voice I'm doing for Watchog does not sound at all like I'd imagine his character would sound like, but whatever, I guess. <laughs> Why does this class always wear me out so much quicker than any of the others? My eyes are even twitching. Twitch? <gasps> no. Although they've always done that. We just got to hurry and wrap this up. Now then, the topic of today's class is, in brief, Looplets and Emeras! <laughs> eh? Don't you kids know about them? Looplets? Emeras? Well, color me surprised. I'll explain this just once, so memorize everything I say. First, looplets. Why don't you all open the item boxes I handed out? Each box should have three looplets, one for each team member. Looplets are made to be worn on the body, so everyone in your team should take one when you go into the dungeon. How about these dents in this on the side, Teach? Good observation, my young Shelmet. Oh, I did the wrong voice for Shelmet. These notches, as you will, are made to hold emeras. Emeras? Exactly. Emeras are very mysterious items that you can find scattered throughout dungeons. Find emeras and fit them into your looplet. Quick bang and boom. When you do, you'll find yourself reaping mysterious benefits. Wow. What kind of things do these emeras do then? I can't wait to see. Me too. I want to see some. <laughs> Simple children. They're so easily impressed. I nearly let the class get away from me earlier, but now... I'll just wrap things up before these scamps run me out even more. Oh, you all would like to see some emeras? You bet we do! Too bad! We'll never see any here. What? Emeras disappear if you try to carry them outside of a dungeon, so you can never bring any to a regular place like this. Too bad for you all! However, I am your illustrious vice principal, a position far grander than a regular old teacher. So, I will use my special abilities this one time to send an image of what an Emera looks like directly into your soft, young minds. Here I go! Yarg! I'm a pirate! 
Whoa! This is how emeralds look and work. They're quite impressive, aren't they? All shiny and glittering. Pop them into your looplet and bam! They'll trigger beneficial effects for you during your adventures. There are any number of effects, such as making your moves stronger. However, emeralds cannot exist outside of dungeons. When you return home from a dungeon, all of your emeralds will have disappeared. Wow, Teach, you're really something. Yeah, I can really see the image in my mind. I can't. It's like you're a psychic type or something. <laughs> That's amazing. Really, Vice Principal Watchhog. Um, isn't it just a regular old drawing? What? It's not a psychic ability or anything like that. Uh, dude, Cynthia, seriously, how dim can you be? Man, I feel sorry for old Watchhog. Couldn't you have just played along? Oh, I, I get it now. Gee, I'm sorry. At any rate, I'd say that was a swing and a miss for the VP. Do you think he was trying to be funny? I thought it was playful and amusing. Oh, well, perhaps it's still not too late. Let's all act like we're on board now. A miss? From me? But I never miss. Uh, can't be. This is so embarrassing. Um, Mr. Watchhog, sir? It's enough out of you! I don't want another word out of any of you until you're in the forest! Just make your way to Glittering Mountain and bring back those flags! There are always tons of embers to be found on Glittering Mountain. Use them wisely! Now get out there and conquer that dungeon! Yes, sir! I guess we should hurry and go, too. Uh-huh. But yeah. Uh, that's the wrong mouse. I need my laptop mouse. But yeah. By the way, Jabroni Mike unlocked a new emote slot, so now you have this for two days. Nice. And did Twitch fix the puzzle pieces yet on the computer? Um, doesn't look alike. Huh. Twitch is being a piece of shit to you today. And <laughs> honey, but 34 is now the highest number we has, have as of now. Because yeah, I was about to say Streamlabs chatbot is open, so they should be working. Also, I'm gonna just quickly go and configure this quickly. It looks like I'm using TFGH instead of WASD. So I'm gonna quickly go into input here and I am, <coughs> man, I'm gonna change L and R to R and Y and then ZL and ZR to four and six. So they're right above the weird buttons I'm using instead of WASD now. Cool. Let's go to Glittering Mountain. All right, let's give it our best shot. Now, I actually forget what the Glittering Mountain music is. Oh, it's laggy. Oh, now it's fast. N now it's normal speed. It took a second there. It's- wait, is B just the I- oh, it is just the item button. I always forget that in, like, Mystery Dungeon games. But yeah. There we go. Bless you? What, did it sound like I sneezed there, question mark? Did I sneeze? I don't even remember. Uh, yeah, yeah. Emeralds will have countdowns before they disappear, so. <laughs> that one was supposed to disappear if I picked up that first one on time. But joke's on you, I got them both. Why aren't quotes working? Where'd you go? What? They should be working, I have it open. The, the quotes should be working, the bot's on. I don't know. Okay, yeah, it sounded like it. Well, thanks. Thanks, then. <laughs> Let's do... Yeah. Let's increase my power and increase my defense a little bit. Is what we shall do. This keyboard's gonna take a little bit of getting used to real quick. Oh dang, I keep forgetting the pushing thing. Ooh, and power boost Y. Now that I have X and Y, it's like super potent. Well, it boosts the accuracy, but... Oh, you had to do that. Twitch is being a bitch today, isn't it? I guess so. Uh, Now it's not awkward to like do that. Nice. Now that I changed the keybinds. I don't know. It's like guard boost for Deerling, I guess. Yeah, and then the Amra Shatters. May as well collect the sparkling dust. Because it can still go and become another thing. Nightbot works just fine. What's this? Ooh, but Barrage is like one of the best ones. Yeah, let's replace Guard Boost. 
Ah, uh, let's actually push them. Oh yeah, right onto that. Wait, big ears? That's like one of the best ones. Locates Pokemon on the floor. Oh, uh, I guess I'm taking off the power boost. Never mind. They're different bots. That's why. One runs off my computer and one runs off of the internet or Nightbot. They're completely different things. But Streamlabs chatbot is open, so I don't know why it's not working. I did not have that. That really didn't kill. I do not have the explanation. Sure. You get that. But yeah, you can see on the bottom screen now all the red icons. I can tell where all the enemy Pokemon are. Makes sense. But yeah, it's literally a different bot. Like, I can do this, for example. Whoops. What? But I said to do it under the bot account. Hold on. What? This is what, what happens if I say the streamer account, then. Okay, it's still under me. It apparently hasn't logged in with my bot account. Weird. What? Test what? What? Well, I guess you just have to wait for stream delay? For to hear me say that, I guess? Alrighty. Fairy! Hey, the thing! Oh yeah, confuse that begone. Begone! Thought! Oh man. This away. And stairs. And we go this way. You're making a pattern of the words that I said. I thought you were just confused about what I said and you were like asking about it by repeating it or something. Uh, I hate having all these items from the thing, the bag that they give you for all these kind of tutorial stages. Like, I mean, I like the tiny reviver seeds, but ooh, nice. Of course, it's too big to pick up the where I'm Eric. I don't need the apples. I don't need them. I don't think there's any doctors on this floor anyway. Friends, bad status conditions. Sure. I mean, I didn't read all of it. Just something about preventing bad status conditions. Maybe it doesn't even prevent bad status conditions. Maybe there's something else involved. Yeah. Oh, there's another one there. I wasn't paying attention. Whatever, it's destroyed now. More things I want. Dang it. Munchy muncha. Munchy munchy. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, let's avoid the enemy Pokemon real quick and go this way. Bagon! Thought! Ooh, nice! Itchy nose. Hey, money! Kapuya! Still not dead. There we are. Uh... Stop her! Stop her! Really, I missed! Let's do that! Let's do that! Oh, yeah, man! Makes it easier to dodge attacks in a pinch. Oh. Okay. Alright then. I'll just give that to Deerling, cause sure. Let's get rid of the status conditions on the Wonder Tile over there real quick. Or the stat lowering, not status conditions, sorry. I can't English today. Screw it, I'm using this thing. Whatever. Whatever, man. I wonder how something like Smash 3DS would run on this. Like, I actually, I'm curious now. Because my computer's running this super well. Oh yeah, I have another slot on my thing now. This is true. Oh no! No! Oh, there's one down there. I'm not gonna get to it in time. Because this jerk's in my way. Come on! 
No! Come on! Make it- No! It destroyed itself. Oh no. Really? The stairs are back there all along. Hey man. Fancy meeting you here. Rude. Stop up! Stop! Yeah, onward we go. Where is it then? We're going back. Oh! I keep pushing them. I keep forgetting you have to actually press B to go past them, unlike other Mystery Dungeon games where you just go past them. I'm pushing what's even. A mechanic. Oh, I got confused. And Richter. Or Richter. I believe it's pronounced and it's spelled a different way. Be gone, thought. Like, I saw that direct and I was like, okay, I have to make this. Ship post. Be gone. You don't belong in this world, monster. You know, I haven't actually said this anywhere yet, but I think Richter, or Richter, is a character I might actually look into playing in Smash 5. I've never played a Castlevania game before. I don't know that much about them, but he's just really cool and his weapon's awesome. <laughs> He seems like the kind of character that I'd like to play. So... Yeah. Like, as for mains, it'll probably still just be Puff and Pika. But as for characters that I play, I'm sure there'll be plenty. Like, I play plenty of characters in Smash 4, for example. Like, I play... Uh... Mario, Shulk, Captain Falcon, Sheik... All kinds of good stuff, but I only ever really say that I'm on oh, Charizard too. I'm just now remembering, and I Marth sometimes really rarely. Like there's tons of characters that I play. I still only say that I'm main Puff and Pikachu, and I feel like that's what's gonna happen with a lot of people with Smash Five. Ooh, Barrage, kicking in. Meh. And really, the range looks insane. It looks so good. But I feel like a lot of people going into Smash 5 are like, I'm gonna main them, and them, and them, where? It's like, yeah, you... At the end of the day, you'll probably narrow down to like only really maining one character, maybe two. Just because those are the ones that you put the most time into and you have the most skill with. Like, I'd say that my Puff and Pika are probably pretty similar in terms of how good I am with both of them, so I have them two as mains, but there's plenty of characters that I play, so with Smash 5, I'm sure there's a lot of characters that I'm gonna play. Like, I'm gonna grind that game hard. And... Yeah. Uh... Yeah. Sure. And the original quote in Symphony of the Night is, Die, monster, you don't belong in this world. I guess I didn't want that in the... <laughs> Nintendo trailer. In a trailer for a Nintendo game, I should say. But yeah, I'm sure there's gonna be plenty of characters that I'm gonna play. And I think one of them may actually be like Krom or Ike or Lucina or Roy. Because I was just thinking about like the whole squad assault thing, picking five characters, and I just thought, if I know how to play one of them, I know how to play the other three. Because they're all four basically clones of each other. So, it'd be kind of funny playing like Squad Assault or something where it's like a 5 versus 5 of different characters against someone and having four of them basically be the same character and having to only need to learn like one of them to know the others. So I might actually learn one of those characters, so maybe in Smash 4 I'll be playing a bit more of Marth, maybe a bit more of Lucina, maybe try to learn them. Because that just amuses me, being able to play one character and actually being able to use that to play four. That's the only reason I want to do that, it just like amuses me, that, and I guess I like Fire Emblem too. And also wonder will the spiky ball tip only do damage, or will the entire chain do damage? That's a good question. As I've noticed, it seems to be similar to, or it's not similar to, but that'd be cool if it was similar to Charizard's back air, where it's just the end of the tail that really does the damage. And if the chain probably was like that in the original Castlevanias. I imagine it must just be along the chain though, and not too wide out on either side. Probably like Shulk's up air and down air, I would estimate. I'm pretty high up. Hmm? What's the matter, Esper? This way. Legs! Is this? 
Maybe this is the peak of Glittering Mountain? Look over there. Those are... The flags! And there are two of them, which means we appear to be the first to have arrived. Then we've cleared the dungeon. Come on, let's hurry back. And your meaning, Falcon, Samus, Mario, Mewtwo, you'll use Inklings, Wolf, Ike, Ganon, and K. Rule. Probably also mean Dark Samus, cause clones. Yeah, I guess you could say that I'll mean Pichu then. But with four characters saying that you mean them, like I'd say that you can only call really call a character like your full on main if they're like your highest skill with them, or for multiple ones, they should be like very equal skill level. And I find at least I tend to commit to just one or two characters to really grind them. Like my Charizard is nowhere near as good as like my Puff and Pika, despite how much I've been playing him lately. But yeah, we'll see how it all ends up. Tip may do bonus damage, but the entire chain will probably deal with damage. Maybe if it's a tipper thing, that'd be really cool. Maybe maybe feel even cooler for playing him. I didn't even know that Richter was a character that existed until the trailer, and I want to play him now. Impressive! Congratulations, Team Super Honorable Wa Master Watchog. Or was it excellent team vice principal watchhog? Oh, never mind. Congratulations all around. Good job, dearling Esper Harmonia. While on the other hand, why is everything always my fault, huh? Because you're always so annoying. I can't focus at all when you're around and being such a pain all the time. And on top of that, you're always rushing off into dangerous places. Isn't that what it means to have an adventure? All it means is that we never actually clear the stupid dungeon. My, my. Indeed, you'll never clear a dungeon with that kind of terrible teamwork. Hold on a second, are those two... Are they even listening to me? I hate this part of my job. Why do problem children have to be so problematic? Everyone else, please take care that you don't end up like those two. I'll be dealing out extra assignments to both of them later. For everyone else, class is dismissed. Off on your way. Your main four in Smash 4, Falcon, Samus, Mario, Ganon. I... No, I would say that your Falcon is, like, way better than your Samus, Mario, and Ganon. So, like, if I was looking at the skill of all of your characters and had to say, like, who you main and who you play, I would say that you main Falcon and play Samus, Mario, and Ganon. But for me, my Puff and Pika skill levels are basically the same. I actually have no idea which one is stronger. They're basically uh, about the same skill level. So I just say that I main those two, even though, like, Falcon was my first ever main in that game. Like, my first ever real main that I put a lot of hours into and committed to to get good at that game. Yeah, I don't even really say that I play Falcon anymore, even though he's my third best character easily. I, he's just not on the same level as my Puff and Pika. I don't know as many crazy things with him. After school that day. Bye, Miss Audino. What did I do for Arno's voice? Yes, goodbye for now. Have a safe trip home. Miss Arno, I hope you'll give me some real TLC next time I faint in a touch. Now, now, I'll have none of that cheek from you. Unless you'd like me to drop you off in a really frightening dungeon. Huh? But, but if it was just you and me going... Yeah. Stop that. Huh? Harmonia? Are you walking home alone? Where's Cynthia? Rushed off alone again. I see. Well, then you'll just have to walk together with us. Why hasn't Cynthia been coming together with you anymore? You didn't come to school together this morning, either. Until now, I thought the two of you had been getting along so well. Stupid itchy nose! Huh? Cynthia and you had a talk? And you suggested that Cynthia might be a bit annoying? Hmm. So that's it. Cynthia is usually quick to recover from disappointments, but perhaps this time sung a little too much? But that doesn't mean what you said was wrong, Harmonia. You had to be honest, after all. It's true that Cynthia tends to drag everyone into trouble more often than not. Hmm? What is it? You wanna know how we feel about Cynthia? It's not like I don't like Cynthia. Cynthia is always cheerful and fun to be around. So I don't dislike Cynthia, really, but 
I have ended up in dangerous situations because of Cynthia's adventures. Dangerous situations? Well, uh, you know how Cynthia will walk right into places that even adults avoid. Cynthia calls it an adventure and drags others in. It gets to be a bit much. Gumi has gotten a little tired of all that. I don't hate Cynthia or anything, but there is a limit on how reckless one can be. Sometimes I just have to say no. I see. I didn't really notice. But I've oh, I was about to sneeze and it went away when I first arrived here in this world, but Cynthia isn't uh, actually that close to all the other kids. Yeah, this is, this is true. Yeah, these are the things that Cyrus says off screen Octo. That saves in like 0.1 of a second. What the heck? I love my computer. And you say you made Mario and Falk and Samus being worked on to become good and ultimate though the new physics meta characters etc will all be new for sure. I really really hope that they both puff. Main changed a lot in Smash 4. First it was Shulk, then it was Lucario, then it was Lucina, then it was Darkbit, then it was Ike, and now it is Rob and Kroike. Yeah, that's changed a lot. I mean, for me, it went from Little Mac from when I was just button mashing, so I wouldn't even call it a main. That's just who I picked up, because I was like, this character is neat. And then Falcon was my first main, and then Pikachu was next. And then Puff.